हाय मैन इज बॉर्न फ्री येट एवरीवेयर इज इन चेंज जीन जेकब रूसो अ फ्रेंच फिलोसोफर द लाइन सो पावरफुल दैट ब्रॉट अबाउट अ फ्रेंच रेवोल्यूशन from those lines i got this word chain and what i feel all of us are chained by something or the other either we have been chained by some other person or we have chained ourselves to something today i will focus on only one chain that i was able to break on my way and uh, <coughs> this chain essentially was my inability to talk in english my inability to express myself in english language my inability to write in english my name is vishal and i am from lucknow my age is 34 years english is not my mother tongue my mother tongue is hindi i never felt a need that there will be a day that i would need english i was in the surroundings that you know it didn't matter whether you know new english or you know hindi it's it's fine <sighs> but how it started i just wanted to share with you i got this chain and it set as a belief in me that i am not going to talk in english ever and and i do not have the competence to talk that was set into me when i was a child Uh, in my school although it was a convent school but you know i never uh, spoke a word in english throughout my schooling and the answer was very simple that as soon as you even you know start speaking a word you have a beautiful friend you know who is filled with destructive criticism and who is going to tell you right there oh my goodness okay so somebody is trying to act fashionable today right wow new word man so this is how it started out so I'll define this journey of chains in a few of the real incidents that happened uh, to me. I'll begin with a school incident first. When I was in class seven, during one of our exams, I got an essay that you know, uh, your bus is hijacked. Narrate the story. Now, out of this line in class seven, I didn't know the meaning of hijacked. So I tried to act a little smart. i asked my teacher excuse me ma'am could you please tell me what does this hijack mean really so she said do you want me to write this essay for you <laughs> so, so it didn't work so i looked at my friend saurav who was just busy jotting down as if you know he's going to just score the maximum in this exam so i just saurav with a pity on my face i said do you what is the meaning of hijack he said to take it away i said take it away <laughs> where so <laughs> i I said, "Dude, help me! Where take it away?" So he said, uh, he immediately started acting, you know, like a saint. That dude, you know, he gave me a look that we are not supposed to cheat over here. We are not supposed to. I said, "Why, goodness?" I said, "Okay, fine. You go on and you know get full marks in your paper. I'll just figure it out myself." <laughs> Then I got into thinking. My father always told me this: whenever there is a difficult word in English, break that word into two, and find the meaning of. each words and then combine and you know figure out a meaning so i said hi jack so i broke that word into hi and jack so i said where did i hear jack so i started thinking okay whenever our car got punctured my father said we shall go get a jack from from uh, from the store so i i thought okay maybe because the bus is big so it would need a hi or a bigger jack to to change the you know puncture or something So with this meaning in mind, I wrote my entire essay that we've been traveling, and suddenly you know my my bus got you know uh, it fell into a ditch, and then we used a high jack to you know lift it up, and then we replaced the tires, and then we completed the journey. I got two out of twenty, <laughs> okay, and I was praying to God <laughs> that my ma'am should not embarrass me by asking me to come in front and read my essay. <laughs> Thankfully, my prayer got answered. I was not asked to read that, but I am still not sure why I got those two marks. Maybe for my handwriting. So this was my state of affairs. 
now school got over college over now it's a chain to make your living to you know form a career you know to be a manager and to work with a multinational company i moved from lucknow to mumbai and there i was first time realizing that if i don't know how to speak in english i have no body doesn't matter what ever content i have if i am not able to express i am nobody right and i was struggling quite hard what to do how to do do i gain the skill of talking english it was not coming naturally so what really happened was i i was playing a customer service role and uh, during one of the feedback i was told that oh okay so you guys are from uh, up right so we don't expect you should you you would speak in english it's fine people from up and bihar they don't know how to speak english it's okay and this was again it it was like you know a chain that was built in me since the entire childhood <clears throat> it got another punch that dude somebody is not challenging you it's and i took this extremely personally that i said okay i'm going to prove this chap wrong it is not true that people from up or bihar cannot talk in english i'm going to put this guy put make this guy take his words back and i was really struggling i didn't know what to do i was just walking uh, on the road and suddenly i found that spoken english it said that you can learn english over here and it was like oh wow this is a place i have been looking out for and i went into that place it was indo global academy at navi mumbai and there was a gentleman mr john he said welcome okay fine we are here to help you i can help you improve your communication skills i said listen up sir i don't know how to talk in english can you help me talk in english so he said of course we are here to do that that is our business so i said awesome so i was at the right place now i was in the company of housewives and lot of other people you know who when they don't have any work they join such courses right <laughs> so I, I was I was sitting over there, and uh, on the first day, it, the session was something like this: uh, that John sir is going to call a student, and he has to come on the board, and he'll give a word, and he'll say, "Go and write this word on the board." So I said, "Fine." So it was my turn, and he said, "Vishal, can you come up, please?" I said, "Yeah, of course." I was standing on the board. He said, "Okay, what's the spelling of ball?" I said, "Ball." I wrote B O L L, ball. I was 23 years old with a graduation degree with a wrong spelling of ball, and when I turned back, and I I saw all the housewives laughing. <laughs> so I didn't know what happened really. <laughs> so I said, "Why are you guys laughing?" He says, "You don't know the spelling of ball." He said, "I mean, ball. This is how you sound it, right? Ball." So she said, "No, it's a B A L L." So B A L L. I I I started debating. I said B L L would sound like hair in Hindi. It was bal. So I thought it's not true. It cannot be B L L. And then John sir looked at me, okay, and he was trying to control his laughter. He said, "Dude, we are going to really work hard on you, right?" It just kept on happening. But I was firm that I am going to break this chain, a chain that is stopping me to move ahead in life. I started reading newspaper and I used to turn the entire newspaper blue reading it out and wherever there is a word that I don't know the meaning just blue 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 underline it and then put all those words on a register open the dictionary and find out their meaning and put it over there and then I had a challenge that I have to use this word today in a conversation and luckily I was helped with one of my roommate who who really helped me and he said you talk it out Vishal don't worry just go and talk it out and i kept doing that kept doing that to an extent that i came up with a book that's road to mnc that's my first book and wherein i have struggled my i have mentioned my struggles these two examples of hijack and ball is included in this so so this is it uh, this is how i could do it and uh, i would just like to play an original song for all of you today this is a short song okay that i have actually composed originally so this is how it goes
Guys, 